Return to Pink Floyd at Pompeii. Hey there, you're on Brush with Rush. This I'm good, how are you? Who, who am I speaking with? Hey, brother. Uh, you're talking to Donnie Thomas, uh, calling to Katie from uh, Big Calvert. Actually, nice. closer to the point of Port de Lucie. Oh, nice. How's it doing down there, bud? Hello, uh, you know, it's a pretty sweet day down here, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, open it, uh, see if we can't get that carousel uh, working. She busted last summer, eh? Uh, right. Port, so Right. Well, I hope, I wish you well, but uh, let's get to the chase. What was your brush with Rush? Oh, okay, absolutely. Well, let's cut to the chase. Enough about this uh, right uh, horse on the carousel. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Uh, well, yeah, a little uh, point of uh, kind of some uh, going to give you a little bit of context here. Okay. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, in the in the spring of 1974, Neil Peart uh, was in a band called Hush. Right. And, uh, and then he went on from that to audition for uh, his band Rush. Yeah. And to get to that audition, uh, he actually drove a Pinto, Ford Pinto. Okay. 1971 Ford Pinto. Uh, that was my car. You, that was your car? You lent it to him? <laughs> I tried to put the pieces to that puzzle together. <laughs> Mind, the deeper down that hole you go. <laughs> so did you did you lend him your car? Were you guys friends, or uh, did you sell him? No, 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 no. no. So uh, my good buddy Phil, yeah, knew him from back in the day, right? Okay. Uh, from that day, uh, Phil went to Lake Park Secondary School. Uh, was uh, both he and Neil were on the boys' steel hunt team. Um, which, and that was unusual in Ontario because typically they wouldn't have uh, field hockey for, for boys, but they did there. And Neil and Bill were both forwards. So that's, um, that's Bill? What's that? That's Bill. Yeah, Bill. Okay. On the hockey team. Yeah, he's, he's in Go Bank now. He got incarcerated. But, but back then, uh, they, were, they were cool pals. And so when I, when I had my 71 bit, uh, and, you know, I'm full go blue, the whole deal. Uh, inside, custom uh, kitchen, uh, windows. I went with a, a leather pearl uh, interior. Not leather, but I couldn't do that. But it was fabric. But nice. You know, nice. Like that sounds board. nice. Uh, sorry? That's, that sounds nice. Sorry, I'm cutting you off. Uh, oh, no. It's so nice. That's the understatement of the year. <laughs> I mean, this thing was absolutely killer. It's reliable though, right? What's that? The reliable car, right? Oh yeah, reliable. Yeah. You can have the pop-up suits in the back and see game. Uh, thankfully to goodness, Carol and I only had three kids. Like, could you imagine having five? I couldn't imagine having one myself, but... It reminds me, you know what? That reminds me of Dave, you know? Uh, like, sorry, who? Oh God, what was he thinking? Who, right? who, who's Dave? Huh? Oh, it's my cousin's 
neighbor's got five kids. Oh, wow. And that's... The craziest damn thing, the craziest damn thing is he just works uh, to a, a gas station uh, just outside of Niagara on the lake. Uh, so he's kind of, you know, pulling in some of that uh, sweet, uh, you know, gas station money kind of, because it's kind of like, you know, it's in the wintertime, not so much. Summertime, of course, people trying to get to the, the theater festival. Anyway, he had five kids, and I was just like, hey, I couldn't even imagine. Thank God. That sounds like a lot of kids, but uh, Donnie, so could we get back to the Pinto with Neil Pert? You oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So anyways, I, you know, I, I put out the call to a couple friends, you know, have to absolutely have this Pinto pride for my grip, you know, and I'm through gritted teeth and kind of tearing up as I'm trying to say, you know, call a few friends and say, I got to sell it, you know, I got to sell Donna, as I named her, but... And so I had my friend Bill who said, well, you know, a pal of mine from back in the day, uh, Screaming Eagles, uh, from back in secondary, you know, a buddy of mine who used to be a forward with me on the field hockey team, yeah. uh, Neil. Oh, uh, he's, here we go. He's in the market. Right now he's got a motorbike, but he wants to step it up to something that's indoors. And before we go too far down this trail, we are talking about Neil Pert, right? We're talking about Neil Pert. Wow. That's who I'm talking about. Okay. Is so Neil you, Pert. Yeah, that's so, right. So you sold Drummer your Pinto to, to Neil Pert before he was in Rush? That's right, when he was in Hush. Wow. I sold him the Pinto, the car that he took to go to the Rush audition. So his drums were in the back of my Pinto. And I'll tell you what, just think about that. His drums yeah. were in the back of that Pinto. If anybody had even so much as tapped the back bumper, the car would have gone up in flames. The drums yeah. would have been gone. Yeah. No Good rush. Chance Neil's hair might have been singed. Yeah. No caress by steel. So no fly by night. Story. Yeah. No. Donnie, that's uh, that's but, quite a brush. I'll tell you what, and, and I told this, I told this to uh, Kevin. He was like, you know what? That's not a brush with rush. It's a brush with hush. I'd, it's like shoot your trap, Kev. This is a yeah. brush with Rush, because if I didn't have that brush with Neil, he would have still been in Hush. So it was our brush that led him to Rush from Hush. Yeah, you, you, you propelled him right down to, to the uh, to the band, and I gotta say... Kevin's got this thing in his mind where he's just japping off at me. Kevin? Fine, it's no big deal. It's like a Thursday night. The two of us are kind of going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, kind of chug for chug, and, and Kevin's just like, no, no, it's brush with Well, Donnie, if I could just say, uh, as a Rush fan, and, and, and if I could speak for the audience, just say thank you for uh, helping uh, our man, Mr. Pert, out when he needed you. And, um, you know, um, I should also let you know um, that you are the winner of the show today. You are, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, let me tell you what you got. You got uh, uh, the boat. You're getting the boat. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm not, I got it right in my hands right here. You got the boat. I think it's the, uh, I think it's the English version. Uh, a, a foot and a half by like a foot or something. What? The, what? Yeah. So it, the, it, oh, it, no, it, no, 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 the, the spatially, how big, how big, not the hull depth. Well, it's just, how a, it's, big is this thing? Is it a pontoon? No, Donnie, I, I'm sorry if I, um, I didn't make it clear. Oh. No, Donnie, uh, you, you won a video disc, an RCA video disc of the, Academy Award, I think, winning film, The Boat. You, um, you, the, in German, it's Das Boot. Maybe you know, because it was kind of famous by that name. Das, das Boot? But in English, that's The Boat. And it's a, it's a really long, it's a good movie. It's pretty long. How the hell could a movie about a boat be any good? 
Uh, well, it's, it's, you know, World War II, and uh, it seems on the back there's it's at least a scene with, like, a, a woman. Oh, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Before I go, uh, would it be okay if I uh, gave a little message to uh, Paul and I in the squash? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead, Donnie. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad to help you out, Donnie. Thank you so much for your call with uh, your brush with Rush. And stay on you the line, know, okay? Man. Thanks. Appreciate the German folk movie for my story about the Pinto. Yeah, you, you're very welcome. Fair trade. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, your word's not mine, but we'll see. Any okay, I'm going to let you go. Donnie, stay on the line. Oh. Okay, stay on the line. Don't hang up, okay? You got it, brother. I'm just going to put you. I'm not going anywhere until I get my hands on that German boat flick. Okay. Okay. Please tell me she's rated R. Uh, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're over 17 though, right? So you, you'll be okay. Okay. I'll, I'm just gonna put you on hold. Stay there, bud. Okay. Bye. All right, son. Bye. Available on LPN cassette.